What we know and what we have seen over two decades is that torture and ill treatment, when they are systematized, routinized, and legitimized, compromise not just the rights of individuals, but also fundamentally weaken the rule of law across the globe. It's particularly important to note that the global, the so-called war on terror, which followed the attacks of 9-11, illustrated and enabled an extraordinary rise in the use of such techniques. One of the things that's really um, uh, positive is that the Mendes principles offer a set of steps that if they are implemented, can ensure the rights of individuals under investigation or in detention. We have to understand, and I think many states do, that coercive techniques of investigation not only violate an individual's rights and freedoms, but those coercive investigations themselves more often than not yield results that are doubly ineffective. So it's imperative for states to endorse and implement these principles in order to effectively safeguard human rights, but also to ensure safe, open and transparent societies.